so I tried showing you guys on the live stream, but my phone's having issues. I'm going to show you guys the one-handed fire technique. How to get a fire going if you only have one hand, if you got your hand wounded or whatever. Uh, so in here, in my bag, I got some birch. Uh, this is birch bark. Right here for you guys. Just going to place some of that all around. We're going to try birch first, and then if not, we're going to use black and white fire starters because I know I can always get a fire going with those. So, what I'm going to do is take my knife out right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and jank that in there real good. I'm going to grab a stick, still using only one hand, and I'm going to tap that down so it doesn't move on me. There we go. I'm going to switch my thing out so I can see what I'm doing. Let me zoom in for you guys. Just take out my uh, my ferro rod here. Still only using one hand. Oh, so close that that birch has just a little bit closer. There we go. And it went right out. Let's try that again. Oh, there's my birch here. That's the hard thing to do about when you're using birch bark. There you guys go. Finally, one-handed fire using birch bark. And that is the result, right? All right, so now you guys saw the one-handed fire starting with the birch bark. That did take a lot longer than I was expecting. Granted, I am doing this one hand. Now, if I was using both hands, I could have got that thing going real quick. Uh, now I'm gonna show you guys uh, how quick we can get some black and white fire starter stuff going. So still just using one hand. My other hand's right here behind my back, as if I'm wounded, or some sorts like that. I'm gonna take out the black and white. These are the new uh, the new fuzz that uh, Black and White Fire Starter has. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these. Uh, use my knees here to kind of rip one open. There we go. That worked out real well. And uh, I'll move this birch out of the way. I'm just going to go ahead and place that right here next to the, the lighter. And since it is got that uh, stuff on there, which I'm not for sure, we're going to go ahead 
take our ferro rod out. I'll even use a different one this time. Oh no, wait, no, I'll just, I'll keep it fair. I'll use the same one I have been using. This is a black and white fire starter stuff. And uh, let's see. There we go, guys. Look at that. Still going. Bam. Second. We're talking seconds. One handed. In case you get hurt out there and you only got one hand and it's cold out and there's a fire going, I should probably get my knife away from that fire so I don't ruin my handle here. There we go. Focus, focus. It's not going to focus. All right, cool. So there you guys go. Now you see it. That was a one handed fire method going primitive versus new school. You guys tell me. Drop a comment down below. Which do you guys think worked better? I mean, obviously it's the black and white, but I mean, if you guys think I could have done something different with that birch bark, definitely leave me a comment down below and uh, let's find out. So I just threw a big old chunk of, of snow on that. Black and white fire starter. Look at that. Look, literally. Still going. How often can you do that with your tinder? Get your, your tinder completely wet. Look at that. Take the snow off. Fire still going, guys. That's what I'm talking about.